So example number three. Given x equal to three, y equals to two, we want to find the value of this. So eight alpha x minus five alpha y plus seven. Then we press C A L C. Calculator will ask you what is the value of x. You press three, then equal. Then the calculator asks what is the value of two, a uh, y. Then you press two, and equal. Then and press equal again. Then the calculator will substitute the value and return the answer twenty one to you. So for this, we have the P Q R. So uh, what we can do here. Okay, we don't have PQR. We use ABC lah. Okay, so I have the two alpha A plus alpha B. P for A lah, Q for B lah. Then I can press alpha comma. Okay, three Q three alpha B minus four alpha C. Plus eight and comma. We have five bracket. P P is a alpha a minus alpha c and comma again. So we have the r over two. R over two plus seven q minus three. Uh, seven Q minus three. Then I press C A L Z. A is five, B is two, C is negative four. Then I press equal. Then two A plus B is twelve. Then I press equal again. So three B minus four C equal to eight. Make thirty. And then press equal again. Forty five. Press equal again. Nine. So the comma is continue, okay. Continue with another equation, okay. So if you don't want to do it this way, you can manually key in one by one, lah. Okay, and then press the C A L C. So this C A L C is very powerful. So uh, let's say I have some complicated equation with unknown x only. So I have a two x. Square minus the plus five x plus six, and then I calculate. So they ask me what is the value of x. Then I will say one. Then equal. Then equal. I calculate. Press equal again to substitute another value. Calculate again to substitute another value. Okay. So this is the C A L C. That we can use in Forman Chapter Five.